Nice to see you, my child. I hope all is going well for you this day. I have a request, a selfish one, but have you have any spare time? Well, it's Brother Padrick. He's a friend of mine. He left about a year's time ago in search of adventure. Said the monk's life was too bland for his tastes. He mentioned hearing about a treasure only found through a hidden exit from Split Rock Depths, that he might find it if he camped in Haxi for a bit. But such a long time has passed and no word from him. I'm terribly worried and I thought you might... Well, you could check up on him for me? Mitharu's blessings upon you, child. Bless you. Thank you so much. My mind is already at ease knowing you would take on this charge. If it helps, I would begin your search at Split Rock Depths. It is the only place he had mentioned by name. Towards Haxi and into Split Rock Depths. Begin your search for him there. I came to St. Edric's to find peace. Peace and a place to study. It's quite scenic, and nature's beauty has always helped me think better. Puts my mind at ease. He was always looking for more adventure than St. Edric's could offer him. This made him an ambitious man. When he spoke of traveling and seeing more of these lands, there was always a sparkle in his eye. The man was such a dear friend, he even asked me to go with him. I hold no such ambitions for myself. A dense and magical forest, home of the traveler's camp, and a place to find lodging or goods if you have need of it. They are a system of caves running through Haxi, said to have a hidden exit that holds a treasure on its cliff, if it can be found, that is. Another day, another blessing. I hope your search for the truth is leading you down a righteous path. Mitharu knows there's enough chaos in the world today. Five years in the swamps of Clericon was enough to rid me of my lust for war. I was an impetuous youth, raised by the back of my father's right hand. But I found home here with the others. All we seek is a sliver of peace in this vast world. I know only what I've seen from this hill. The Fae are a wild race, inspired by the intimacy with the natural world. We at the mission marvel at this relationship. Occasionally Father Eter would play host to a visiting summer court Fae, but I know nothing of the meetings, except that many of the brothers frowned upon them. I'll admit that the eastern lands are beautiful in their own way. Like Dalentarth, the forests and swamps are ruled by Fae folk, but a far more sinister variety. Clericon should be seen, but I advise that you wait until after the war passes before you pay your ship's passage. It dried up several months ago, so we sent several brothers down to try and find some deeper reserves. Father Eter had great interest in Mitharu's natural splendors. He volunteered to lead the project, with Wolf by his side, of course. The Authority is the one true father to all humankind. It is by his grace and order that we are able to survive the trials of this world. He tests us in all that we do. Bless you, child. You may pray at the altar to St. Edric, if you wish. But please, treat the father with respect.
Welcome to St. Edric's. You're here to meet with Father Eter, yes? The Father's always playing host to interesting individuals such as yourself. His quarters are on the second floor of the Mission Bunkhouse. Most of his days are spent inside working on his research. I don't understand a word of it. No, I, I knew that they were arguing, but I never imagined that it would lead to... to murder. It's enough to make a man question his faith. Father Eter and his apprentice brother Wolf, they were inseparable, like a true father and son. It was a shared love of alchemy that brought them together. But since their work repairing the village well, they've been acting tense, even hostile. Just this morning I saw Eter fetching water, but now he, he's gone. Mitharu save us all. You're free to search the bunkhouse. Please, if you can shed any light on this tragedy, we'll do all we can to assist you. In another life, Wolf was a butcher in Galafor. He's a naive sort, and his gifts do not lie in prayer. But Father Eter believed that Wolf had been called. Father Eter and his apprentices conducted many experiments. He had a strong interest in alchemy and the magic of other aces. There's proof of it everywhere. Goodbye. <laughs> Rest a spell.
stay back. I don't know who you are or how you found me, but you will not have the crystals. They are mine. Don't make me kill another. I had no choice. He was trying to destroy the crystals. He didn't understand that we've been chosen, that the crystals wanted us to possess them. The strange woman was right. She knew the crystal's power. That's why she wanted them. But we told her nothing. When she left, Father dropped the crystals back into the well. But they sang to me, told me to kill him and rescue them. Their voices... <sighs> so beautiful. She was a fae, quite beautiful. Called herself the Maid of Windermere. Father Retair was suspicious of her kindness and threw the crystals down the well. It was his idea to lie when the Maid asked him about the crystal's properties, its strength, endless questions, but he told her nothing. I haven't found it yet. I was searching the well tunnels when I was attacked by kobolds. Nasty things. Father Retair did something to the crystal. Hid it by way of magic. A priest using magic. Unforgivable. The crystals give off a glorious music. Can you not hear? It speaks to me. I've spent hours playing my whistle and watching the crystals shimmer with joy. Father Retair believed that the magic within the crystals responded to the tones and rhythms of song, almost as if they were a living thing. Why would I want to do that? The song of the crystal is the only truth that has ever kept its promise of power. Mitharu? Never. Father Retair? No. The maid was right. The crystal gives the power to end the pain. And now, I choose to end yours. Get out of it.
don't just walk with your damned eyes shut. No, you look around. Really, not just stare at your feet. Move! Found your way to Castel and Delfric, I see. Shall we begin? Or should we stand around until my hair grows grey? That's you. Show me what you can do, and you'll make Pledge Shield soon enough. The ruins are full of boggarts and sprites. Thieves too, sometimes. We'll get to the bottom of this trouble soon enough. Beasts of pure chaos. Or so I've been told. No mortal eyes have beheld them in hundreds of years. Not around here at any rate. Right. Now listen up. The job today is to find out who, or what, has been attacking caravans along this road. Our hunt starts from here to the fork in the road. Fan out and move quickly. Look for any clues, then gather at the fork. On my word, go! Eyes peeled! Spread apart now! You go that way. What are we way. looking for? I'll go Jeez. by the road. Blood? I don't see a damn thing! What was that? Ah! Where's Curran? Oh, Mitharu! Where's Curran? Curran! God damn it! Where's Curran, damn it? Maybe there are some tracks. Or oh, something. Don't tell me you believe in old ghost stories. It's probably a bear, or a crudduck. If this is what it takes to earn rank, so be it. I've trained, I've dreamed. I will join the Order. We've only just set out and already down one. Pathetic. Anyone see anything? No sign of the attacker. <sighs> Moving on. Turn east and across the stream. Up to the steps of the old ruins. Go! Fireling Crand is dead. Whatever, whoever it was, got him. Let him lie for now. I want the rest of you to be prepared. Weapons out, eye sharp. We get some action today, maybe more than you bargained for. Look sharp! Something. No! It's going to get me! Gods help me! Then keep moving and stay alert! We've lost a second, but I caught a glimpse of it this time. Whatever or whoever it was went into the ruins. Steady now, weapons ready, and follow me. I... I don't know. Big as a man, at least. Just... just be ready. And keep your eyes open!
Niskaru. And Dalentarth. Where the hell did they come from? Never mind that. We've got to track them down. Hmm. I suppose the dead deserve better than nothing. We mourn the fallen, hireling. Give me a moment and a bit of space. We honor our fallen hirelings. True to their oaths, they died to a fool. <laughs> and so their death shall be. What's the use? Let's get going. Through here. Brigand Hall Caverns, of all the rotten holes they had to crawl out of. Well, hireling, the patrol's done. Here's your pay. You've made it this far. I'm going to find out what brought those things to Dalantarth. Come with me, and you might just make Pledge Shield. Drove ne'er a red hand out of these caves myself. That was years ago. Before that, Tyne Delfric waded in after Gareth Rill. Some cut purse or another is always trying to make a name for himself in Brigand Hall. Now that's what I like to hear. We'll make a war sworn of you yet. Now, by Eamon's oath, we're going in. Now, stay close, and do as I say. Now.
What do we have here? Ah, yes. Brings back memories. Brigand Hall's earned its name. It's a notorious thieves' den. The path ahead will be littered with traps. Beyond that door there, you'll want to watch every step. First, we need to get that door over there open. Uh, give me a moment to think. Now, what was the trick to this door? Not a key. Ah, yes. Clever little thing. That- Come on! Get moving! Take care. This is where the traps are thick. You go around and throw the lever on the other side, and mind the traps. Ah. <laughs> 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 